I don't know if I should come in, really. Oh my god. Wow. I set up camp right next to this fairy tale cabin before it rained. Then the rain stopped, leaving me drowning in this valley sunset. But soon I learned I am not alone here. Oh, you're watching something. Would you mind if I stick around for a little bit? If I don't want that hurt, might as well just not have it. To begin with, that's the safest way. Can I become bulletproof if I don't let anything in? <laughs> I'm literally just parked on the side of the road and just fully amazed by how booty it is. It's overcast. I can only imagine how nice it is if it's sunny. Um, I'm a little hungry, so I'm just going to make a quick sandwich. So on my quick stops snacks, I usually just bring toasts. These are her um, charcoal gluten-free toast, so that's why they're black. With these um, flavored canned tuna, becoming a pescatarian actually, when, on one hand, it makes my cooking and camps way more creative um, because it kind of crossed out all of your typical bacon, sausage, hot dog sort of thing. Um, you get to eat stuff like salmon and shrimp. However, it also makes it super convenient because in the canned fish aisle, there's so many selections and so many flavors and you can never run out of ideas or... So the one I'm using, this is sun-dried tomato flake tuna. And you just try to spread it as evenly as possible. Flip them together. It's basically a tuna melt and restaurants want to charge them for like, I don't know, $10 or so. And if you want it hot, I have the 12 volt food heater thing. Put this in an aluminum wrap and then heat it in there. Then you can have a toasted version of it. all these piles of just wild flower. If I researched correctly, these are called fireweed. They grow from sea level to the subalpine zone, sometimes so abundant that they carpet the entire meadow with pink flowers. Oh, we're getting narrow. Ah! Uh oh. I'll be all right. Yeah, I'll be all right. Whoa, dude! So there's a little cabin out here, and look at that! Oh my god! There's uh, people leaving their trucks here. I think they were those um, um, dirt bikers. But oh my god, this is beautiful. When I see something breathtaking, I'll first choke on myself for a bit. I straight with my jaw dropped. Then I'll reach to the closest camera I can get my hands on for a photo or video. People always laugh at Chinese tourists taking photos, but hey, think about this. How good is your memory compared to imagery and recording? I'm wondering what's in here. Hmm. This little cabin is not marked on the map at all. Is this someone's house? Am I even allowed to come in? Oh my god. It's like bear spray and a full on bed in here. I don't know if I should come in really. Cause it didn't, it's not marked as a private 
land. So it should be public for like whoever that can come. It's like one of those fire towers so you can just stay. But this is way so nicely built and stuff. Okay, hold on. There is a guest book. Is it a guest book or someone's notes? Oh, it is a guest book because the, tech, the handwriting is different. So I guess it is okay. Oh wow, okay, okay, I feel better now. Oh look, someone painted exactly what's down there in the river. It was cloudy, it says. Oh my god, oh my goodness, I, oh. I'm just making a bunch of weird noises because I am in lost of words of what to describe what I'm seeing right now. The cool thing is because it is a cloudy day, when you turn around and turn back again, where did the view go? It was right there and all of a sudden everything's gone. I bet you give me another, I don't know, 10 minutes or so and you'll see them slowly showing Again, it's so magical. Oh, I'm actually pretty glad that I came out on a rainy day. Get to see its shifts. Yo, dude, you can see the cloud moving towards us. It's coming up, it's coming up. Uh-oh, it's coming up here. We're gonna get foggy. All right, so I really wanted to leave something at the little cabin but the paper was out and I got this new patch made out. Many of you have been asking so here they are. Roof liner patch. So I am going to leave three of these in the cabin. If you find it, take one. Okay. I've decided I am staying here. It's still really early in the day. I could have driven a little farther, but this is way too nice. As you can see, the clouds just pushed in and um, you don't really see much right now anymore. I hope it doesn't rain too much later on. Okay, there's mosquito now. Um, I'll get set up before it gets worse. My solitude didn't last long. I rushed to bring my drone back as two dirtbackers approached. They've got a group of friends coming up to stay in the cabin for the night. Again, proof the cabin is public maintained, but that also means I won't be alone here tonight. Soon the rain caught on. The bikers were lucky they didn't catch it falling on them while riding. I put on my camera to say hello to the group until the clouds start to clear up again. But you can see the sun is coming. Or at least there's a hole in the sky.
Yeah, that's how you do it. Properly. I've got to ask, what's your firearm of choice? What? What's your firearm of choice? What do you have? We have, we have all sorts of fun stuff. Um, what's, what's your favorite, I should say? What's like your number one? You like for like 22s, like like big bore shotguns? Tough gauge, I guess the easiest. 12 gauge, yeah? Okay, cool. We've got 12 gauge. I think so. As long as you're okay, we don't want to interrupt your dinner with a bunch of gunshots. Sure? Okay, I'm used cool. to it. <laughs> what you just heard while I was making milk tea was them asking you if I was okay with them setting up a little target shoot. Well, you're a lucky day. I have my license and I'm cool with safe shooting. They even let me try a few rounds. After some conversation about firearms, four-wheel drives, adventures, they seemed to accept me and invited me to join whatever they got going on for the night. Part of me is actually screaming for some alone time, but another part of me is cheering for acceptance. There are seven of them. One girl from Australia, another girl drives a cool Tacoma. Pretty sure there's some halo effect, but I'm glad to run into a crew like this. I usually don't stay up very late after sunset when I'm alone because there tends to be nothing to do when it's all dark. But I just got this new gadget that I finally can do something out at night by myself. Comes in this very nice cute pouch. Would you like to have a movie night with me? This is the BenQ GS50. It's an outdoor projector. Comes with your remote as well. Has a built-in three hour battery. Pretty much enough for most of the movies. But if you are running it longer, they also have a cable. Then in my case, I always have a portable power station. I'll just plug it in there and run it through. It's got a built-in speaker, but I can always connect it through Bluetooth to my own speaker as well if I want other sound, but I believe this one is pretty good that has like actual bass or whatnot if you are into that. Uh oh. We got some rain and splashing water in here, so it's like getting wet a little bit, but it's fine. We are splash proof, built for outdoor. It's got a really cute green kind of color. Um, somewhat sort of rubberized feeling to it. It's got a little handle so you can hold it to wherever and then change the tilt angle too. <laughs> That's super cute. The program built-in has Amazon Prime Video, um, YouTube, Spotify, a bunch of things, or if you have things downloaded. Like what I would do is just airplay it through actually my iPad. All right, let's start it on and um, play something. It's funny how the idea of watching something outdoor actually came from when I was on that trip with my guide um, in that beautiful sunset. If you haven't watched that video, I'll put a link up here, go watch it. Um, he has this deck with a screen inside his car and we just sat in there and watched Rufus to Sol in Joshua Tree. It was so nice, so pretty watching that late at night and at the time we just thought it would be nice to have a bigger screen where we can sit outside when the temperature is nice and watch it outdoor. And that's where the idea of having a projector came. And obviously I would need to look for something that's more outdoorsy and um, for what we were using, mainly outside. And funny enough, the idea came from when I was with him, but now I'm totally enjoying it by myself. And watching a movie all by myself. Anything you recommend I should watch? As for me, Right now, I have plans to... I wanted to go to Tuk 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 um, after next week my school finish, but so far, Northwest Territory is not open for travel because it's so remote, the people there is considered high risk. So that trip might not be happening, but I would still like to plan for something up north um, later in the future. 
So I got YouTube Premium and downloaded Exorbilance trip to Alaska and to Taktoyaktak so I can watch it here and maybe do some research, do some homework to plan for my trip and see what's on the road and what they did and how it all go along. Normally I would just watch things on my small screen but now I can cast it on here and shoot it to a screen. As for screen, since I don't have a whiteboard as a screen, but I have an awning that have a side wall. Guess what? I will show you. So I just projected my screen onto my awning wall. And I just adjusted the angle and the unit has got its own autofocus. So like somehow it senses the distance and things of where your screen is and focus itself on the projector. That is really rad. So cool. Um, let's watch. Expedition Overland, the Alaska Yukon series. Mind you, this is one of the first video they ever made and is done in the Lancusa 100 series they had many years ago. So I can definitely do this if they can. That's where you see miracles happen. Where you get smacked by the harsh reality of the present. Oh, you're watching something. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking cool. Oh, that is so badass that you have a fucking projector. Without mistakes or conflict or breakdown of the story, so cool. simple. <laughs> Would you mind if I step around for a little bit? Yeah, go ahead. That's a stool, so like I stepped on it. I believe that adventure if is you want to say you Oh, I, I don't mind sitting on it. it. Okay, and your well, fulfillment okay, of it's dreams. just like 30, How you navigate the in-between is the great unknown. Now it's all me. <laughs> that was quite an episode. Um, a bunch of locals came up to the mountains and uh, stayed in a cabin. Apparently it's quite a known place to the locals. I just somehow stumbled upon it. It's not marked on the map. Quite a cool experience being in the woods. Expected to be alone where I ended up meeting a bunch of um, people at the cabin. Um, yeah, still a good day. Here's sort of where the local knowledge come from. They, one of them actually saw when this building, when this cabin was building up. He said it was built around 2015, 2016, so it's still fairly new, and that's why people were um, keep using it. And uh, first, the builders put a lock on it as sort of a, uh, I guess, personal vacation home, but um, there is no permit and. Um, the government was saying that either he opens it up or they're going to burn it down. So right now it's sort of opened as a guest house for whoever needed and whenever people are coming through they will always leave something um, for the next pe person to use. There's um, fire poking sticks, there's axe. Would you look at that view and all these flowers? So the next morning, well, early afternoon to be precise. The cabin crew left while I was still trying to shake my sleepy head awake. The trucks that had been here before I came were still here. Apparently there's a hiking trail to the lakes atop, also not shown on my map. These trucks belong to some hikers up there. I would love to check out the end of this hiking trail one day. I took my time to pack and taking the scenery once again. There's no rush to leave. I wonder what else is around here.
So on the map actually it says there is a fall. Um, a little bit of walk in the woods to go try to find out. It's actually quite hidden, but we should get there, no problem. This looks like blueberry, isn't it? Hmm, no, it is blueberry. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> it just split from here and laying down that way. Wow. Okay, I got lost a few times, but now I can hear the fall. I wasn't expecting it to be this big, but wow. Wow, holy. Whoa. Oh my God. Wow. Oh man, I couldn't believe what I'm seeing right now. Look at that. That is such a big hidden bug. I totally wasn't expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> 